Yo guys, welcome back to today's video. In today's video we will start working on the Yamaha DT50. So in last video you saw that we took apart the whole engine and we uh, came to the conclusion that we have to order a few new parts and uh, yeah, if you didn't see that video I will uh, link it right above this video. So go watch that if you didn't watch it. And now let's continue this video. So as you can see this is the brand new crank that I ordered in last part. And right now it's time to uh, uh, make some progress on it, this engine and slap it together with the brand new crank and also the new bearings. So uh, yes, first of all let's get out the seal so we can take out these uh, old bearing that doesn't fit this crank because it's a racing crank. It has to have a little bit of a bigger seal and also a little bit of a bigger bearing. And while I was taking out the seal it snapped so it uh, broke. So we just need to order that again. So now let's heat up the uh, surrounding uh, engine case. So we can uh, pop this uh, bearing out. So there we go, I got this out of the fridge. So it's pretty cold. So now let's heat up the uh, engine case again. So now let's see if the uh, crankcase will fit. So now let's put this thing together. First of all, this uh, little washer right here. You see there's a washer right here. You can put your zip tie over it so we don't lose it. So guys, as you can see, we slapped this engine back together and right now it shifts pretty good. But still there's no oil in the case, so it's uh, hard to tell if everything is uh, back together in the right order. So let's uh, continue this build and uh, when we put the oil in, we will uh, see for sure if it shifts all right. So. So guys, I forgot to put a seal behind this one, so I had to break the seal to get it out, so that's not really good, but we will order new ones, so don't worry. Underneath this one, there need to be a seal, so. So there we have the O-ring, push this all the way to the bottom. And then as you can see, this little bushing thing will go on top and you see the o-ring falls into that uh, groove so there goes the brand new seal so there we go so this side has to face up this one because the bolt falls into place right here torque down with 50 newton meters and this one has to be torqued down with 70 newton meters so now we will assemble the uh, clutch And 
This bolt has to be torqued down with 60 newton meters. So don't forget to curve this little uh, steel part of this washer. So first the friction plate. So there we go, now only one steel plate. And after this one we have to install another friction plate and make sure that this little knob on these uh, steel plates is one third apart from each plate. You have three plates so one third apart. Really important for the balance so. So first of all let's you put the pin in here then a little ball and then a the last thing is the shift drum. As you can see, when you move this lever, you see this thing moves out. Clean off the cylinder head and the cylinder with this uh, wire wheel. Before we paint this thing, let's clean the inside because it looks really rusty. There we have it guys, we have the hone tool for the uh, Yamaha DT50 cylinder, as you can see it's a little bit uh, rough, it's not bad, no scratches or anything, but it can use a little bit of a hone, so that's the reason why we bought that, and as you can see also the paint dried up pretty good. There we go, we got the oil inside and also a little bit on the hone, now it's ready to go. So. So I think it's uh, a little bit better than before, so as you can see there are uh, no scratches or something, it's just these lines that uh, will seat the rings when, uh, when we will break in the engine, so I think I don't want to take out any more because then it will uh, mess up the tolerances and the uh, piston will fit too loose in there and then it uh, will not be a good time. So. So guys, that was it for today's video. Next video we will be installing the cylinder and also test riding and starting the DT50 for the first time after it's rebuilt. So stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.